The Windows operating system, like many others before it, uses drive letters to identify and organize storage devices. Most of us are familiar with the C drive, the default location for the operating system and primary files. But have you ever stopped to wonder, why does the boot drive always start with C? What happened to A and B? The answer lies in the history of personal computing, stretching back to the 1970s and 1980s, when personal computers were first becoming household items. The birth of drive letters. The concept of assigning drive letters originated with early computer systems like CP-M, Control Program for Microcomputers, and MS-DOS, Microsoft Disk Operating System. These operating systems needed a simple way to differentiate between connected storage devices. Using the alphabet as a naming convention was a straightforward solution. Each letter represented a specific drive. In the earliest days of computing, storage devices were incredibly primitive compared to what we use today. Most personal computers didn't have hard drives at all. Instead, they relied on floppy disk drives for storage. These floppy drives were labeled as ABE and B. A drive, the primary floppy disk drive, often used to boot the computer or load software. B drive, a secondary floppy drive, if the system had one. This allowed users to copy data between disks without needing to swap them in and out of a single drive. Floppy disks were essential for everything from running the operating system to saving and transferring files. Because hard drives were not yet standard, the alphabet didn't extend beyond age and B. The introduction of hard drives. As technology advanced in the early 1980s, hard drives began to appear in personal computers. These devices revolutionized storage by providing much larger capacities and faster access speeds than floppy disks. However, hard drives were expensive and initially rare in home systems. When hard drives were added, they needed their own identifier. The next available letter, following the floppy drives, was C. This is why the primary hard drive became known as the C drive. It was here that the operating system and user files were stored, leaving floppy disks for auxiliary tasks. MS-DOS and the Standardization of Drive Letters MS-DOS, developed by Microsoft and launched in 1981, played a key role in cementing the C drive status. IBM-compatible PCs, which dominated the market, adopted this convention. In MS-DOS, the C drive was automatically assigned to the first hard drive, while the A and B drives were reserved for floppy disks. This standardization made the organization of drives consistent across different systems, an important feature in a time when computer literacy was just beginning to grow. Users quickly learned that C was synonymous with the primary storage drive. The decline of floppy disks. By the 1990s, floppy disks began to decline in importance. Hard drives became larger, more affordable, and more reliable, eventually becoming standard in nearly every personal computer. CD-ROM drives and later USB drives replaced floppy disks for most purposes. Despite their obsolescence, the letters ABE and B remained reserved for floppy drives in Windows. This decision ensured backward compatibility with older software that still relied on the earlier naming convention. For example, some programs from the 1980s and 1990s were hard-coded to look for data on ABE or B. Keeping these designations free avoided breaking compatibility with legacy systems. Windows and the persistence of the C drive. When Microsoft introduced Windows, the graphical operating system built on top of MS-DOS, it retained the existing drive letter system. The C drive became the default location for the Windows installation, a convention that persists to this day. The C drive's familiarity was also an advantage. By the time Windows became mainstream in the 1990s, millions of users were already accustomed to thinking of the C drive as the main hard drive. Changing this would have created confusion, especially for non-technical users. Modern drives and why the tradition continues. Today, computers are vastly more complex than the machines of the 1980s. Solid-state drives, SSDs, cloud storage, and external devices have revolutionized the way we store and access data. Despite these advancements, Windows continues to assign C to the primary boot drive. The reasons are largely historical and practical. Backward compatibility remains important, especially for enterprise systems that rely on older software. Additionally, maintaining the C drive as the default prevents confusion for users who have spent decades associating it with the primary storage location. Interestingly, you can assign other letters to your drives or partitions in modern Windows systems. 
However, the boot drive is still C by default, and changing it can cause significant issues with the operating system and installed software.